Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Unique Weapons and Armor of Tamriel. I am your host, Outlaw0420, Priest of Azora. In this series, we go after the unique name, weapons, and armor in the Elder Scrolls Online. I also give you the financial value if you're looking to make some quick gold. Today's unique weapon is Rebus's Spare Staff of the War Maiden. We can get this weapon by completing the quest Hatching a Plan, which is at the city of Nissus in Vanderfell. To start this quest, you will have to talk to Foreman Lothar. And let's get this started. You do have to complete a previous quest here in this town to get this quest to start. It's a very simple quest that has to do with a tonal resonator that the Dwemers left. With a couple of very interesting rest story. And a few stiff drinks will be up and running again. And I guess I should go check on the Queen at some point. She's probably a nervous wreck. Always been a little skittish, that one. What? No, that can't be. The Queen's the heart of the mine. We mine eggs for Mara's sake. Can't very well run an egg mine without eggs, can you? Uh, I, I'm sorry. It's been a rough few days. It was that damned dwarf magic, wasn't it? Yeah, sure, dwarf magic. Revers, I want you to find that scrawny little wizard and tell him the bills come due. He wants to help? Well, now's the hawking time. If he doesn't fix this, we'll sick the redderin on him. He doesn't want that, believe me. <laughs> Revis lives just north of here. You'll see a tangle of old rope bridges and rocks. Kine only knows what that wizard does out there. Make sure you really lay into him, huh? I do it myself, but I've got to take care of this lot. I knew that Telbarning would betray us eventually. We should have cast him out years ago. Another one missing. By the three, how many eggs did they take? Ah, hello again, my friend. All's well in Nisus, yes? I heard the bustle of the town when I returned home. It would seem our work in the mine was a success. What a relief. You care to join me for... Wait, what are you doing all the way out here? And you know why. Oh dear, that is a problem. Damnable resonator. That is the last time I randomly flipped switches on an ancient dwarven machine. Never let it be said that Reva Stem Navani shirks his responsibilities. I'll, I'll fix this. You have my word. Uh-huh. Well, in addition to being a Dwemer scholar, I'm a compulsive egg collector. What? I have diverse interests. Anyway, I happen to possess a royal Kwama egg. <laughs> or at least I did. It seems that some cliff striders stole it from my hatchery. Great. Tucked away in one of the beast's roosts, I suspect. Uh, I'm not sure which one, though. Uh, find as many Cliff Strider egg heaps as you can, then mark them with this divining stone. I'll jot down their locations and prepare them for transport. Yeah, I'm gonna do your job. You shouldn't have any difficulty finding the egg heaps. Just look for giant piles of hardened mud and feces. Did I mention that feces would be involved? No? Well, there will be feces. Loads of it. Awesome. I hate that. Excellent. Simple. We bring them all with us. I'm confident at least one of these heaps contains the royal egg. Of course, there's the other matter of getting the eggs out without breaking them, but, you know, that's something we can figure out when we get to town. God Don't worry me. so much. I mean, you managed to disable an ancient dwarven resonator with zero training. Extracting an egg from a pile of dung should be a walk among the daisies for you, right? This is going to work. Just you wait and see. No, until your house shows up, we have no other options. I'm willing to give anything a try at this point. You'd welcome that Telvani schemer into town after all he's done? You truly are a fool, Lothar, to oblivion with the lot of you. 
I have a feeling he's gonna be the bad guy. Please tell me you have good news. I don't think I've got the stamina for another disaster. What did Revis say? Can he help us or not? A royal egg? The Telvanni had a Kwama queen just lying around? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This might actually work. It would take an army to shove a full-grown queen through that mine. But an egg? We've got a real chance here. Of course, always a catch. Whatever you need to do to break that egg out, you do it. I'm gonna make damn sure he knows we're watching. I'll be sure to let him know. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> Getting the eggs down here was trickier than I thought. Greetings, Foreman. Enough with the apologies, Revis. Our mutual friend told me everything. Where are these egg heaps? Oh. Yes, I'll put them down by the dock. Should make the cleanup a bit less onerous. <laughs> uh, feel free to go down there and inspect them. I'll just need a moment before we begin. This better work. We've got a lot of riding on this. So do you. Lothdar's gone, right? Good. I have news of the unpleasant variety. Based on the looks of the egg heaps, I'd say our royal egg is near to hatching. If the queen emerges before we put her in the mine, the workers will reject her. Of course. Our misadventures in the mine gave me an idea. Kwama seemed particularly susceptible to tonal magic. And tonal magic is simply the creative manipulation of sound. I propose we sing our young queen a lullaby. <laughs> I love this guy. What? No. Simple music and a dash of magic should do. We just need a bard. Preferably one that puts people to sleep. I can amplify the tones through magic to make a soothing, enchanted melody. It's brilliant. <coughs> yes, and what's more, I know a bard who can do it. Vigard the Sparrow. He's a talentless hack, but he's proven very adept at putting audiences to sleep. Word around town is that he's headed south. Track him down and tell him I sent you. That should be enough. <laughs> I love this quest so far. Next thing you know, I'm gonna find the dude dead. Somebody help me to hurry, make me. It's me that these filthy creatures want to taste. My god. The hero approaches a warrior without peer. Alas, all my gold was squandered on beer. The hero is selfless, the hero is kind. The hero won't kill me and rob me blind. I'm sorry, I always sing when I'm nervous. But I don't have any reason to worry now, right? No reason to quake and shiver with fright. Oh, great. This is just lovely. Nisus? Those dirty miners don't understand my craft. Practically tossed me out of my ear the last time I visited. Revis has always been kind to me, though. Very well, I'll meet you there. An impromptu performance for a Telvanni mage. Very exciting. Yeah, that's a word for it. Exciting. Dark there you are. Are you a party to this ridiculous plan? If not, we're paying some bard light. to sing to dung piles now to soothe the royal egg with the power of music. Are you all deranged? This sounds like something out of a children's story. How is Lothar falling for this? It's clearly part of Revis's evil plan. Yes. We report this latest disaster to House Redoran, and they force House Telvani to pay for our losses. While they're at it, they can provide us with another Kwama Queen. A simple solution for a simple problem. That's...
That's aside the point. The house is very busy, dealing with some pressing threat to all of Vardenfell, no doubt. They'll be here any moment. I can feel it. The foreman wants to see you. He's down with everyone else at the docks, preparing for this latest farce. While you are all playing your games, I'll be giving my report to House Redoran. We should be along any minute now. I have a doubt about that, but sure. Here's my favorite hero. Everything is prepared. If you're ready, we can get started. Yeah, I'm ready. Remember what I told you, Big Art. The sound of your voice should help soothe the Queen. Just sing from the heart. I will, Rebus. Settle in, everyone. I've written a song for just this occasion. I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, Kwama, sweet Kwama, don't you want to be a mama? Something's happening. I think... Oh, no. What is that? Oh, look at that. It's just a baby. Oh, no. Something's wrong. Everybody run! Oh, they killed the bard. That's funny. Oh, sucks to be that dude. That was your last chance, Revis, to song guard with you and your schemes. Oh, that could be helpful. Finally, your treachery is revealed. Don't try to run, Telvani scum. Your house will know of your part in this. Manor is right. The resonator activating, the queen getting killed, that poor bard losing his life. It's all my fault. I deserve everything that's coming to me. So you're just gonna be a little bitch about it and lay down? More like quarantining myself. I'm a natural disaster masquerading as a person. If I just sit here quietly, no one else will get hurt. Besides, we're out of options. Other than breaking into the mine and planting the egg in the nursery, of course. You know? Fetch it. You're right. I'm the one who got the miners into this mess, and I'm going to damn well be the one who gets them out. It will be dangerous, though. Planting things in Kwama mines always carries risk. I knew I could count on you. Head to the mines and look for the nursery. I'll retrieve the royal egg and meet you there. Once we plant the egg, the workers will almost certainly attack. You'll have to fend them off until the queen emerges. All right. Our little queen-to-be is stirring. No time for pleasantries. Yes, and soon. We need to get Her Majesty inside the nursery before that happens. If the Queen doesn't take on the scent of the colony, the workers will reject her. So yes, urgency. Yes, exactly that. Kwama workers produce a pheromone unique to their colony. Unfortunately, these colonies often compete over resources, making them natural enemies. Hence the infanticide. Now, if you don't mind, this egg is getting very heavy. After you. Once this is down, the other Kwama are going to try and stop it from hatching. Make sure it does. Once they see it's a queen, they'll leave it alone. I'll head outside to ensure no one comes in before you're done. Good luck. The night never yields. That's the way baby Korma Queen looks. Interesting.
Damn it, Mako. Are these Redoran Oathmen ever going to arrive? Where are they? They'll be here soon. The chance to punish this treacherous Telvanni is too good to pass up. House Redoran is going to make your house pay dearly, Revis. I temper your expectations. I'm Telvanni, true, but my relationship with the Council is distant at best. I doubt it will mean as much as you think. <laughs> I was wondering where you'd gotten off to. Thought you might have moved on. I certainly wouldn't blame you. Between Manor and this owl brain Telvani, I'm about ready to head back to Skyrim myself. How are things in the mine? What? You're, you're not joking, are you? I mean, I, I'm grateful if that's the truth, but how? Your Telvani friend. So, Revis wasn't trying to destroy us after all. He's still got a lot of explaining to do, but for what it's worth, I'm happy I was wrong about him. Oh, gods, what a day. I've had enough excitement for ten lifetimes. I'm just anxious to get back to work. Here, take this. Without you, we'd still be dragging half-mad miners out of there. It'll take some time to get the mine up and running, but with a new queen, I bet we'll be even more prosperous than before. Thanks, friend. And safe travels. All right, ladies and gents, there you go. We got our item. Revis's spear, spare staff of the war maiden. Enchantment is the Crusher enchantment, reducing the target's physical and spell resistance by 1302 for five seconds. The trait is piercing, increasing weapon and spell critical by 4.2%. Part of the War Maiden set. Two pieces add 588 critical chance. Three pieces add 981 maximum magicka. Four pieces add 115 weapon and spell damage. Five pieces add. Oopsie. Five pieces add 537 weapon and spell damage to your magic damage abilities which is great I know that this set is used for magicka characters it actually does sell pretty well still and this is a lightning staff and so real quick A War Maiden's Lightning Staff will fetch you 38k at a Guild Trader. So, do with that what you will. As always, if you enjoy these dosed tones and finding unique weapons and armor in Tamriel, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and do whatever else the YouTube gods demand of you. I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash outlaw0420. You can follow me on Twitter at outlaw0420. Where you can keep up to date with my streams and videos when they go live. I did put up a special milestone video. It is a reading of the Lusty Argonia Maid. If you want to watch that, I will put a card for the video up in the corner as always take care of yourself take care of your loved ones and remember someone appreciates you because I appreciate you and may Azora's glow guide you ever warmly bye